Hey guys, it's Tanner here with Bricks and Minifigs Who Falls. Today, we are taking a look at set 10232, The Palace Cinema. This set comes with 2,192 pieces. This retailed for 150 bucks, so we're just a little, a little around that seven, uh, seven cents price per part ratio, which was pretty good, pretty, pretty good, all things considered. Um, really, really, it's a dated build. It's a really nice build though, um, but you can definitely tell that it's it's a little dated for its time, um, considering we are doing this as a ten a little ten year anniversary for uh, this specific modular. Um, thought it would be a fun time to just kind of take a look, show you guys some of the cool stuff that we have in the store uh, as far as like some of the older stuff goes. So we're deeming anything retro to be ten years or older, and this one fit the bill. So we're gonna take a look and kind of kind of go over everything and show you what we got here. So. Let's get started. Okay, so for the figs, starting from left to right, we've got the cab driver, the, I would assume concessions guy, moviegoer one and two, the child star, and then the paparazzi. So I think the figs, they are very, you know, they've got great print um, and they've got the classic generic smiles. So that's nice. I do like that. They did it in the assembly square for the actual, I think that was like the 15 year anniversary set of modulars as a whole. So I think that the figs do look good. And I think that they're, they're definitely, like I said, with all of the other ones, product of their time, but they work well. Um, they're very effective. You can clearly, you know, you can clearly distinguish who is supposed to be who. Um, I think they look great. As far as the little cab goes, I think the cab also is pretty pretty basic, but it kind of gives me that like Indiana Jones, uh, what was it, like the, the Shanghai Escape set uh, that you get, you know, the two, like the Mafia car and then Indy's car uh, that short round drives. Kind of reminds me of that, one of those like older, like 30s types of cars. Um, I think it looks really good. I love how it's got like this the little tan there to kind of give like an indicator that it's like a soft top that you can kind of pull back. Um, and then it's just got like a little golden grill on the inside, basic steering wheel, very basic build, nothing crazy going on. A little bit of snot work here up towards the front, but again, it's pretty basic. Uh, and then you get these two little lights that you can kind of just throw wherever. I usually like to have them on the sidewalk so they're not just sitting in the middle of your street. But you get two little lights, the, the little like cool dome, or like the, the like shining lights that go up a, up a theater. Um, so I think that those look great. But other than that, I think they look great so we can go ahead and move on to the interior of the building. So taking a little bit of a closer look into it, we see that there's you know, it follows the same modular style, same technique in terms of, you know, how the sidewalks are presented, except this one comes with a little bit of detail, especially with the hall of, or like the, essentially like the, the stars that are all aligned, you know, all, like you see in Hollywood and stuff like that, outside of movie theaters, all that. The uh, marquee right here is done incredibly well. That is like one of the coolest things about this set and it's using only four clips to hold that whole sub-assembly up. So you build this entire guy here first, this whole thing, and then it just attaches with four clips and four bars. So it's really, really well done. I love the, uh, the like harpoon guns that are used um, to really good effect on each of the two on each side. Um, they, they use them as like lights that, that shone up the building, shine up it, and it just, it looks really awesome. Um, you follow it up and as you as you continue to go higher and higher up into the building, it, it really shows that it looks like, you know, a, a traditional like Chinese palace or something of that nature. They use the, uh, the, the ninja size up here at the top all around to really good effect as well. Um, just for little, you know, the, the corner detailing of, of a lot of palaces and stuff like that. And then just an absolute ton of one by one cylinder bricks that just line up in, in a little bit, a little bit of red, but almost completely dark red all the way around to just give that nice, really effective shingle pattern. Um, the outside is, yeah, it's just very striking. I love the brick built door here and I love that you can even open it and I'll see if I can show you guys that it opens just like that. 
and you can open up the doors to get in. Both doors open and it looks really, really well done. And then I also love on these windows here, you get just really, really cool, um, you know, cheesy types of like movie posters. Uh, and those are reflected on the inside as well. So it's not just like reading it one way and then it looks backwards on the inside. You get uh, two sets of stickers um, for both the inside and the outside and it looks incredible on both sides. So those are some of my favorite parts of it. Um, but we'll go ahead and kind of take a look at the inside because that kind of covers everything on the outside and we'll get to the ceiling of it once we go we'll treat that as, as one of the layers to look into. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first floor. So getting into the interior of the first level, one of the things that's really apparent right from the jump is that for the actual building on top of this, they use a red base plate and it's used to extremely good effect on the interior. It gives like that red carpet look um, literally and figuratively right so i mean it looks like it's it's very hollywood and to top that off it looks like a movie theater on the inside it looks like the base level you know it's got the concessions it's got the ticket booth and everything in here um just a little plant with a with a trans clear minifig head there and then also you get to see the uh those those posters that i was explaining that they're double-sided so you get to see those on the interior as well um there's a place for popcorn in here just little snacks um, and then even over here you get some lights that just sit right at the top over here on the wall as well as another little plant in the corner right at the uh, at the second level of the steps the steps are also another huge part about this that I love so much there's a really nice railing and it has just a really good like depth to it it really adds a lot for what is again a very basic and very rudimentary build you know there's nothing too crazy here you're not getting wild connections really crazy types of you know advanced building techniques for the most part this is pretty bare bones and you're gonna see that and i'll explain that more throughout the build but for what it is it's done really well um so we'll go ahead and we can take a look at the second floor now where we actually get up into the movie theater itself okay so getting up into the second story the actual movie theater itself there's a projector sitting right here for the movie theater attendant to run um, there's even a little chair that's a little bit higher up off the floor and then over here you get a nice display of the movie that's actually being you know shot and and the movie that's being played there's a nice amount of chairs you get six chairs i believe it is and then on top of that there's just a little bit of like crown right there at the top for the actual you know just little inlays, things to give it a little bit more detail. Um, I do find it funny though, that with the windows, the bottom two windows of the three stacks that they do all have panes, but the top ones don't because I guess that just probably wasn't a part that was around at that time. But the stairs do actually go all the way up again, which I think is kind of odd, you know, sitting in a movie theater and having like a flight of stairs that leads to the ceiling, but I get it for the sake of wanting to make access there. But there is stairs that do lead upstairs um, to the ceiling of the uh, of the palace cinema. But again, it looks great. Would I add that many windows to a movie theater myself? Probably not, but it looks good. It works, it's Lego and it's basic. And honestly, I do love it. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the upstairs, the, uh, the actual roof of the building now. Okay, so the last segment of this build, the ceiling, is definitely the weakest link in the chain. There is literally nothing going on up here. There's no AC, there's no ventilation. It's just in what is pretty cool build, a sideways door that acts as a hatch to get down those steps that go right into the actual theater. So it's it's a little bare bones for sure, um, but it is, a, it, you know, I mean, what can you expect? The whole thing's pretty basic, it's pretty simple, but it's a good one to have in, in a modular layout and a modular collection if you're building a city. Movie theaters are a really cool thing. Um, and it's just, yeah, it just works to, it works to a good effect. It's very simple, um, but we'll go ahead and I just wanna give you guys a little bit of shot of the back because this is probably one of my favorite parts of it. So as you take a look at the back of the building, you'll notice that there's not a lot of like intrusive colors or weird things so if you wanted to you could build an 
alleyway here on the side or on either side of it and it would look pretty natural there's no odd colors i love that they even added a little bit of like masonry brick here to give that effect um but again it's just it's it's basic but it would look great in a modular city layout so let's move on to closing thoughts so here's the palace cinema in all of its glory it's pretty nice you know it is the tallest of the three it definitely commands a presence it's you know it's unmistakably something that is supposed to be chinese inspired it looks like a palace you know it does what it needs to do and i think that is one of the nice things about it from its basic standpoint it does what it needs to do it gets the job done and it doesn't really do anything unnecessary would i like a little bit more detail sure is it dated for its design? Absolutely. But that's just kind of to be expected. You know, it's 10 years old now. Um, but I, it's not also at the same time, I don't want to make it sound like I'm just giving it a pass because this set, the, like this is possibly my favorite modular. This one came out the year after. One year difference between their release dates and you went from this to this. So I don't know, it's kind of a gamble, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the, about the Palace Cinema, about any of the modulars. What is your favorite? What do you think of the Palace Cinema? Is it one of your favorites as well? Do you think it's a little too basic? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that way we can kind of keep doing this and figure out what you guys want to see more from us. Uh, so thanks so much for watching the video today, and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.